to say, Franz, when I ran into your website here, honeymoon with my brother, at first I was sad. And then I became happy because you have, a, you have a book about it. It's available. It's in our resource well. But we want to hear straight from the horse's mouth. When did you first think that there might be a problem with your relationship? Oh, there was a bunch of red flags. But I'm a guy, and guys always ignore red flags, right? Things like, you know, she didn't always wear her engagement ring or the, the wedding invitations were a little bit slow going out. And she just didn't sound that excited to tell people about it. Uh, but I ignored all of that. And I said, you know, no, no, we're going to get married. This is just cold feet. And put my head down and hope for the best. And then we had a spectacular crash. Yeah, just a couple of days before the wedding, she said she couldn't do it. But it was so close to the wedding that food's there, wine's there, guests are there, they've flown in from Europe, they've flown in from all over the world. And so my brother here uh, had the crazy idea, hey, you know, you should go ahead and have a wedding anyhow. And I said, no, 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 the, the, the bride said she couldn't go. And he said, no, but, you know, your family and friends are going to be at this wedding and we should go ahead and have the weekend anyhow. So we did. And we had the golf tournament on the Thursday and the rehearsal dinner on the Friday and even a mock wedding ceremony on the Sunday uh, where a friend of mine who'd just been skinny dipping in the cold Pacific Ocean dressed himself in seaweed and he stepped in for my, my runaway bride. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, you know, you know, here's the thing. You mentioned you had all of this tied into you had the food, you had the wine, you had the venue. You also had a lot of cash involved. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, weddings are expensive. And, you know, we are so wed, literally, to destination weddings and, and you know, multi-day weddings. They used to be these really simple affairs. And now they've grown into this huge, huge business, as Sandy and, and Kurt will attest to. Um, and... It's almost like once you set a date, the thing goes on autopilot. And they're, they're, you don't talk about your relationship. You don't talk about any problems that you might be having. You, you talk about lobster crostinis and, and who's going to sit next to whom and, and what sorts of flowers should we have. But, you know, none of that is, is meaningful at all. You know, we, I, I, I'm a personal believer that we need to get back to a much more simpler approach to weddings. When did you find out that there was going to be no bride at your brother's wedding? Well, first of all, I was shocked. It was about a week before, um, a, you know, a few days before I was supposed to go down myself to meet the, the, the group. And he called me and this is coming from my brother whose life has gone perfectly uh, according to his plan. So it really shook me up and I hopped on the first flight down there to help him sort through all the calls. And what he's not saying too is he had just gotten a divorce. And so, you know, here we are, two brothers who were both dumped, you know, in this middle of this surreal weekend. It was only natural that at the end of this crazy weekend, I, you know, I turned to my brother and I said, hey, you know, how'd you like to go on a honeymoon? And he said, with whom? <laughs> and I said, no, 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 you don't understand. I got two weeks in Costa Rica, you know, prepaid. I've got all these great, you know, all, you know, all, all inclusive resorts. I got first class airfare. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, honeymoons, honeymoon suites have one bed, you know, and, nor and oftentimes it's heart shaped and there's champagne and roses. And I, I love you and I want to help you out, but you know, I don't want to go on a, <laughs> I don't want to spend two weeks in a heart shaped bed with you. So I said, nah, I nah, will cancel that. So we took off on my honeymoon to Costa Rica, which was supposed to be for a week. But it was good. It, you know, we, we kind of reconnected as brothers and had a bunch of the conversations that we should have been having. Uh, cleared our heads. You know, travel's always great for that. And so at the end of the two weeks, decided to extend our honeymoon for two years in 53 countries.